Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about how to choose a PoE injector to power your edge device. As we know, the PoE, we can use the single internet cable to send both power and data to the edge device, like the IP camera, access point, VoIP phone. But there's more in the standard PoE. It's called power handshaking. Before the PoE injector or PoE switch send the power to the edge device, it will release a small currency to verify and classify your edge device and monitor the feedback. If the PoE injector switch cannot get the positive feedback, it will consider that's not the PoE standard PoE equipment. It will not release the power, it just provide the data. I think it may answer one of your questions, whether the PoE power over internet can work with non-PoE equipment or not. After all, there's power from the PoE, right? The answer is yes. Because if you just connect the non-PoE equipment, such like the PC computer, to a PoE injector or PoE switch, does this switch will not send the power, it just will provide the data. Also, it can give you some information about the passive PoE and the standard PoE. The difference between the passive PoE and standard PoE is there's no power handshaking on the passive PoE. The passive PoE just will release the power directly without going through the power negotiation. This is the passive PoE from TP-Link. There's another thing about the passive PoE is it usually uses the DC 24 voltage. It's not in the standard PoE, we need to use at least DC 48. It can be higher like the DC 55. But if the, if the PoE system just detect the PoE is DC 24 vo voltage, it will not working. It will be considered over low voltage. This also may answer some of the question why the PoE system is not working. If this is the case, the first thing you need to check is make sure both sides, your, your edge device, your PoE system, injector switch, are using the standard PoE. Otherwise, it will not work if you mix up with the standard and non-standard PoE. Okay, now let's see the standard PoE system. I just set up. This is the PoE injector. You can see there's two internet port. One is the PoE port, the other is LAN port. At the rear, we, can, we got the power code connecting to the power source. The, the LAN port will be attached to the router to get the data from the internet. And the PoE port is connecting to our edge device. In this case, it's PoE IP camera. So the PoE injector will combine data from the router, also the power source, together and send to the edge device. So we, we don't need the power source at the edge. And the maximum distance from the router, not the PoE injector from your router, to the edge device is 100 meter. Let's just move to the edge. The PoE module is built into the camera, so there's no need additional equipment to separate the power and data from the Ethernet cable. What if your device doesn't support PoE, like this router? In this case, you need this PoE speaker. They also have two Ethernet ports. One will connect into the cable from the PoE injector. Let me just move, take off the cable from the camera and connect to the PoE the input port. Once the input, you, you can see the indicator is on, which means the PoE speaker has separated the power and the data. So we got the power port, also the data port. The data port is supposed to connect into the device, such like the router, another router. Also, if your router can accept the power, the voltage, you can also use this PO speaker to supply the power for your edge device. Right now, let me just move back to the camera and the PoE system. I'm going to change the screen to the recorder, then we can see the live video from the camera. Let's just wait for a while. Now the camera is on, it's still doing the focusing. It's the model rest room camera. Okay, you may see there are still different PO injector and speaker on the table. These two big guys support high power PoE. As we mentioned about the power negotiation, the PoE injector need to classify and verify your edge device. If the PoE injector realize your edge device requires high power, it will output maximum 95 watt. 
There are not much different from the small one, also two Ethernet port. One you connect to the router, the other will connect to your edge device. At the rear, we also got the, the power source for, from, for the AC socket. And the metal one, the battery, it can support 10,000 megabit per, per second. And for the, this one, it only one megabit per second. Also, we have the waterproof one, waterproof PO injector. The power, the power source, power data is not included. We need to use the additional power data to connect to the, this port to supply the power for the PO injector. So why we need to split the power data from the PO injector? The reason is the outdoor the environment is harsh. It requires robust product. So if the power source has been built into the device, such like this one, it could increase the heat. And you, as you know, the outdoor, the some sort of cooking your equipment. That's the reason why we decide the outdoor PoE injector, we have separate power source. Okay, let's move to the PoE splitter. This is small one, the most regular one, and this is the one support high power. When these two working with this high power PoE splitter, it can output about 60 watt maximum power budget. It's enough to supply the power for the industry computer, adapt the post machine, and this is also the outdoor PoE splitter. So you can deploy this splitter outdoor. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in the comment section below. See you next time.